Hey everyone, Tim here. And today I'd like to do a quick tutorial about uh, paracord stopper knots. So this tutorial is more for the beginner uh, who is just getting into uh, paracord weaving and making their own bracelets. So uh, what I've noticed that uh, is most people when starting out will just do the simple sort of overhand knot like this. I'll take the two strands over, you know, and tie it like this and cut it and melt it and use that as their stopper knot, um, which is, there's nothing wrong with. But uh, I found that uh, the knot that I'm about to show you uh, is a lot more s symmetrical. It looks nicer and um, it's a bit larger in size. And it definitely uh, works very well with the you know, knot and loop method of closing your paracord bracelet. So just to give you a quick look first, it's going to look like this. And I believe this is called the false Turk's head. So, get onto the how to. <clears throat> what you're gonna do is uh, first take your piece of paracord that you're using for your spine, and you're going to you know just bend it over in half, and then you're gonna take your two fingers and you just loop it through so that you have two strands coming out of your hand like this. Okay, so one here, right? And one here. Then first, what you're going to do is make a loop. So you make a loop like this and lay it over across the other strand here. And make sure your loop, uh, this strand is on the top part here, not on this side, See, up here. Okay. All right. Next part, we're going to take the other strand, right? And we're going to go underneath this strand here, right? So it's underneath. And then we're going to feed it through here. And what we'll do is we're going to go over this first strand here, under the middle one, and then over the end of the loop there. Okay? So we'll go over, under, and over. Okay? And then we, what you're going to end up with is this sort of figure, kind of looks like a figure eight with a diamond in the center. So now the next part is the tricky part. What we're going to do is take our uh, strands on each end, bring them around, and bring them around and th down and through the center of this uh, diamond shape in the middle. So let's start with this one here. We're going to go counterclockwise. So bring it this way. Right. I'm going to bring it past past uh, this strand here. Okay. So I'm going past it. And then I'm going to go underneath everything and through the center. Okay. So just hold that there. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this strand here. So I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to bring it past. Remember, go past this strand here. Okay, so I'm going to go past it. I'm going to put it through the center. So I hope you can see that. So now that I've got the two strands in the center, I'm going to start to tug on it. At this point, you can start to cinch up your knot. Don't worry if it's a little messy at first. You're just going to use your fingers and slowly cinch it together. You might get some excess stuff like this, which is fine. Just sort of play with it and get, get it all cinched up. Okay, so as you can see, our knots starting to come together. Just sort of use your fingers to try to work the knot that's nice and cinched up. <clears throat> okay, so I haven't really fully tightened it yet, but you see I'm, I've already got my knot going there. And now you may notice at this point um, your knot isn't in the exact right uh, spot as you need it to be, because um, you know on this side is going to be your uh, bracelet, so you may need to adjust. And that's very simple. Uh, well, all you do is you, you look for the strand 
on the bottom that's connected to this excess side. See, this is the excess paracord. What you're going to do is cinch this excess all the way through the knot out to the other side to lengthen this side. Okay, so I'm going to look for the strand that's connected to these. It's usually one of the bottom ones down here. You're going to have to just sort of figure it out. Oh, yeah, see, so I'm going to tug on this one here. It's kind of going in through the bottom. See, as I do that, it shortens. It's shortening the excess side. See, now I've got this sort of slack. So now that you've got that, all you're going to do is work it all the way through the knot. So I've pulled this part out. Now I'm just going to do, I'm going to look on the knot on this side. Okay, now I've got to pull it through this side. Got that through there. I'm just going to keep continuing. Pull it through. Okay, one more time. And now I think this is the last time. So see now I can <coughs> put that excess all the way to the other side. See now it's a bit longer, right? So that's the part that you only really have to play with to uh, let, get the length of the knot and loop, uh, the right length. And then at that point, you're going to want to tighten it, pull it as tight as you can when you've got the right length. And then of course, at the very end, you know, you take your knife, scissors or whatever, you're going to cut off the excess and then melt it with your lighter. And that's about it. So. Um, I hope that helped you if you are, you know, just getting started out in paracord making. Um, obviously, there's tons of ways to do it. Um, this is just the way that I've used, and it's worked out really great for me. And I've noticed that, you know, there haven't been too many tutorials about this. So, I hope uh, this helps someone out there. So, that's about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did like it, uh, please like and subscribe. Okay, thanks guys. See ya.